We're blending up four easy keto smoothie recipes for your on-the-go lifestyle, and these are packed full of superfoods, vitamins, and minerals to help with energy, focus, and radiant skin. And all of these are creamy, and you won't believe what we used to thicken it, and it's not bananas. Most smoothie recipes add a banana to help thicken it and make it creamy. But bananas are loaded in sugar. One banana can have up to 25 grams of carbs. That's equivalent to six teaspoons of sugar. These smoothie keto recipes I'm gonna share today don't use a banana as a thickener. Instead, we're gonna use a couple of different tricks. Now let's get to blending so I can show you how to make some smoothies. First up is my collagen building raspberry smoothie. And for this, we'll need a blender. First, we add raspberries, a half a cup. Raspberries have antioxidants in them, which helps with aging. Plus they're loaded with vitamin C to help with your immunity and it helps build collagen. To thicken our smoothie, like I said, we're ditching the banana and instead we're using avocado. Avocado creates the smoothest, creamiest smoothies and it has a neutral flavor so you don't really taste the avocado at all. It's also packed with an essential electrolyte, potassium, which a lot of us on a keto lifestyle are actually deficient in. I'm adding 60 grams, which is about a half a cup, then one cup of ice. I'm gonna add some additional sweetener, so two tablespoons of a sugar-free sweetener of your choice, but you can totally omit this. And I like to add a little bit of collagen powder to my smoothies to make my skin look flawless and protect those joints. A tablespoon of coconut oil, a pinch of Himalayan salt, then a half a cup of water, and then we'll blend until it's smooth. This smoothie lands at five grams of net carbs and 26 grams of fat, so it's definitely gonna keep you satisfied until your next meal and keep you in ketosis. Next up is for those mornings when you feel like having a dessert for breakfast, but you need to stay away from those chocolate treats, we'll instead make this creamy chocolate peanut butter superfood smoothie. This smoothie is like you've dumped every single vitamin, mineral, and nutrient from your vitamin cabinet and into the blender. First, we add two tablespoons of peanut butter. Look for one that's like 100% peanuts and no added sugar. This is a great option where you could use a nut butter instead, like almond butter, cashew butter, macadamia nut butter, especially if you're looking for more of a healthy fat. And speaking of healthy fats, we're gonna add some more healthy fat in the form of avocado, 50 grams of avocado. Avocado is an excellent source of monounsaturated fat. Again, it's gonna help keep us full until our next meal. A half a cup of nut milk, and I'm gonna use macadamia nut milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I'm gonna add in a scoop of Cacao Bliss by Earth Echo. Cacao Bliss isn't your average raw cocoa powder. It's packed with superfoods, like cinnamon to help regulate sugars and for gut support, turmeric for inflammation, black pepper, which helps increase the bioavailability of that turmeric, Himalayan salt for balancing pH levels, lacuma to help with your body's repair mechanisms, coconut nectar for prebiotic gut health, and the list goes on. Not only that, but it gives such a unique flavor that doesn't even compare to just regular cocoa powder. I actually prefer it more. It's been my number one addition to smoothies since using it, and I'm also addicted to adding it to my morning coffee in the morning. It tastes just like having a mocha. If you guys want to try Cacao Bliss, just go to earthecofoods.com slash ketofocus. Use my code ketofocus to save 15% off your order, and I'll have that link down below in the description box as well. Another current favorite is my cucumber smoothie, and this smoothie is super hydrating thanks to the cucumber. In a blender, we're gonna add 100 grams of cucumber, which is about the size of half of a medium cucumber. Then add in 50 grams of avocado, one cup of ice, two cups of nut milk, and again, I'm gonna use macadamia nut milk. And for a hint of sweetness, I like to add in a tablespoon of honey-flavored allulose syrup. This is very, very low in carbs. But if you're more adventurous and don't mind the extra sugar or carbs, then use a raw local honey. This is great for seasonal allergies. And look at how creamy and frothy that is. Next time you feel like a pina colada but don't want the alcohol, try this smoothie instead. It's my keto pina colada smoothie. It's hydrating and it will help support your immune system. First, add in one cup of ice, then three quarter cups of yogurt, 
Look for a low carb yogurt. My favorite brand is called Too Good. I get the plain kind, it's very low in carb. But if you're trying to be dairy free, there's cashew yogurt or even yogurt made out of almonds. Next add in a half a can of coconut milk. And coconut milk is high in antioxidants. It helps strengthen your immunity and it helps with weight loss because it keeps us full. And for that true pina colada flavor, instead of adding pineapple, which is high in sugar, I'm gonna use one teaspoon of pina colada extract. And I'll have the brand that I used listed down below in the description box. And then one tablespoon of sugar-free sweetener, just for a hint of sweetness. I love it when food does not take that long to prepare, and these are the perfect meal replacements. If you need some quick keto meal options for breakfast or to take to work with you, like my keto avocado pesto pasta, then just click right here. <laughs> 